Hey guys, it's Stanky here again. I uh, just thought I'd do this quick video uh, because 6.87's out. Yay, there's a new patch and Invoker got nerfed and Zeus got nerfed and Spec got nerfed and we'll get to play some new heroes, which is always fun. Um, it's a good opportunity to try out some new heroes and ones that have been out of the meta for a little while and ones that have got buffed in the patch. So as I was working my way through, I wanted to try Axe and he was a hero that I've played a lot in the past and I really enjoy playing. And I think he's gonna be very strong in this patch because of the changes to Blade Mail and um, Van guard crimson guard and like a lot of pipe like a lot of the items that he likes to build um and obviously the straight note buffs to axe himself um he's very good against melee safe laners um and the i played two games with him and the second game was against the dual melee lane which is just perfect if you can get two melee heroes um but this game was against a safe lane pa and a lion support although i did have a potum that was in my lane for some of the time um so they picked up a Zeus who's obviously going to go mid and a PA who's obviously going to be in the safe lane so I'm pretty safe here to pick Axe. Um, if he does get much more popular you might not be able to wait so long to pick him but um, he's a good counter to... Uh, he is better if you can pick him when you know that their safe laner is a um, melee hero. So I picked him up and I'll watch it from my perspective because I wanted to do some of these heroes uh, gameplays of my gameplay um, so I can sort of talk about what I'm doing as I'm doing it because at least I know what I was thinking at the time but also I can learn from my mistakes myself um, so I pick up like this is a starting build I like on him obviously this is reasonably early on in the patch so I'm sure that my item builds and the uh, item progressions will change uh, as the as the patch goes on and people sort of figure out what they want to do but i like a tango and a stout because you want a lot of uh tango stout itself and i like a mango because the mango gives you a lot of regen and it just helps you with the mana buff and actually the buff the buff to mana uh, on all heroes is really cool because you actually have a, these strength heroes with low mana pools actually got quite a big buff with that um increased mana um starting mana and i actually don't need my mango for most of this game so you got to get your items quickly get out into lane i got a ward from one of the heroes and i go place it here because i don't think i'm gonna have to abandon the lane if you want you want to block this camp if you're gonna if you think you're likely gonna get pushed out of your lane and have, gonna have to go farm the jungle uh up in here farm your big camp but otherwise you want to just place it for vision or block the small camp and you can place it any of these places you can place it here 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 it's a lot easier now that the spawn boxes are there but if you if you're thinking you're going to be against a solid tri lane then it's probably a good idea to place it here in these trees so it's hard to deward and also blocks this camp because the idea is that if they are pushing up they either have to stack and double pull this or they can't pull this camp to get a lot of experience and deny the creeps that are going to come up to your tower um so anyway get the ward down quickly before they see you so they don't deward it i'm not actually sure if it gets dewarded this game i think it might do actually um secure the rune for my invoker um get back as fast as you can and block the creep wave um I mucked it up a little bit. Even if you muck it up, keep blocking because that just means that if you look, like we only had two creeps attacking in there the whole wave, and the PA actually attacked a couple of times, but my, his creep's going to die before mine, so the right wave is going to start pushing towards me. Here I aggro the creeps and pull them towards myself, and now he's coming up to go for them, so I've actually got them aggroed on me, and they're attacking me now, so I've got a potential chance to spin, and I was on top of the PA. I probably should have moved a little bit further towards him there, but I'm not wanting to commit too hard to taking too much damage just yet at this point in time. Um, but if he commits and makes a you know positional mistake like that, you can take advantage of it as X by right clicking on him and getting the creeps to attack you and hitting him. And now I've, I have creep advantage, so I can fight him. Um, and I've got the bottom there as well, so I just got a few free auto attacks off on him to. Um, why is that selected on him? To try and knock his health down a little bit. The lion shows up in lane. He did actually deward me, so obviously I didn't take a good path to the to place that ward. I think the PA did see me as I placed it. Um, I'm not actually sure where he placed his sentry. Wow, just outside of the rune. So um, that's why if you're placing it, it's really good to place it right in the corners because this camp actually does need two wards to fully deal ward. Um, he goes for arrow there. I didn't actually look. I was pretty sure it was going to miss, but I, that was a bad p camera positioning m mistake by myself. I should have checked to see if it was going to hit. I pick up a wand here because there's a dag uh, PA in my lane. He's going to be spamming dagger all the time, and Lion's got a lot of spells he's going to spam too. And this lane's going to quite likely have early fights. And even though boots are useful to pick up early, I've got. Um, I think the magic stick's going to be more valuable um, because it starts gathering charges now, and I can always pick up boots a little bit later. <clears throat> 
Um, now there's sort of a balance you have to find in the lanes because in a lane with axe because when you when they have a lot of creeps traditionally you don't want to fight them because they have the creep advantage and if you're trading attacks with the other team and they have more creeps you're going to lose out in the end because you're going to be tanking all the creeps and they've only got one or two hitting them but it's sort of different with axe because the more creeps that they have the more chances i have to proc my spin so i can actually fight when they have a lot of creeps so here's actually a reasonably good chance i run and i right click here so they don't they don't when you run past them with normal heroes, with normal heroes, most other heroes, if you're doing this and you want to harass them, you don't want to right click on the hero straight away because then you want the creeps to keep hitting this range creep while you go and fight them. But on Axe, I actually want to right click him. I think I right clicked the lion. Yes, yeah, so I'm right clicking the lion there drawing the creep aggro from these creeps. I probably should have done it a little bit earlier, but I get them to follow me and attacking me. So I've already got one spin off even before I've called and he made a positional mistake, obviously. And then I call to get them attacking me and I position myself down here. So this is something I think also that I see a lot of players at lower MMRs not doing is attack walking with melee heroes. So I call and then attack, and then I move down and then I attack and then I move down and then I attack again. It's actually making it less likely that I spin from these melee heroes, but it means I can get more melee attacks off. Had I just stayed at, at the top of him and been attacking, I wouldn't have got many auto, as many auto attacks off and I might not have got the kill. And then here, it looks like it might be a bad opportunity to, like, a bad fight because he's got a whole creep wave, but I've got seven one charges and I'm axe and I've got two levels in counter helix now, so it's actually fine. Um, my computer's lagging a little bit here. I've just upped my, my recording quality recently and I'm not sure how it's going to affect my CPU, but I'll give it a go. It should give you a much better quality stream. Better quality recording, sorry. And here, I actually leveled Battle Hunger, I think, just now because I was planning on going for this kill. Normally, I wouldn't early level this quite so early. I'd just go more points in Berserker's Call. Actually, I'd pick it up right here. There was a bug. So I picked it up. I held the point as I had four, and I just skilled it right there for this situation. If it, this these sort of situations don't arise, I'd be more um, inclined to just go more points in Berserker's Call um, to get the longer duration and the lower cooldown. Um, but the Lion TP didn't then forward my plans. So here I have the opportunity to backlane the creeps, but the Lion shows up and starts to take my bottom, so I have to go support him. And I, this Lion, I know, is sort of a bit bad with his positioning, so I'm trying to like take advantage of that and catch him out if I can. Um, now I back up right up here, and I miss a creep or two, but I um, get my salve off and buy my boots at the same time. <clears throat> and now I'm full health and ready to fight again. Um, problem about going this build is that you don't start off with a ring of protection, so you can't buy your tranquils from side shop, which is a little bit annoying, but completely uh, fine. This lion's harassing me from the side lane. So Tranks is what you generally want to pick up pretty early. And you can see what I was talking about with the magic stick. I don't think I've even used it yet. And I've built up nine charges. Um, but it's going to be very useful when these sort of skirmishes that we're having there. Having here. Or as uh, Gods calls them, squirmishes. <laughs> you know, the commentator from Australia. I don't know. I always find that hilarious. I don't know if he knows he does it or if it's some sort of meme I'm not aware of. But... God's calls skirmish, skirmishes squirmishes, and I fucking laugh every time. It's so funny. Um, here, yeah, I'm just trying to focus on my last hitting. If the PA is sitting back here daggering, there's not a hell of a lot I can do, but I'm happy. If I can control him out of the lane and freely farm as an offlaner, and he's gonna, and hopefully deny some of his, because he can't deny me with dagger, right? Like, he can only last hit, and I can last hit everything I want to for free, and I can potentially deny some of his. Um, and sometimes in that situation, I just ferried out my tranks there. Sometimes in these situations, you actually want to not go for the deny, but try to deny early so that you mess up his last hit. So if you stop him getting the, f if you can't deny him, but you can stop him getting the last hit, then sometimes it's uh, worthwhile to do that. So let's just speed up a little bit here. I go for the call because the lion seems to have disappeared. I don't know where he actually is, but yeah, he's rotating middle, so he hasn't shown in lane for a little while. So I thought I could dive him. Um, so I dropped my call on him, but I probably did it a little early because he can just kill one of these creeps and get rid of it, which he stuffed up and didn't actually do. And I blinked back to the lane and I didn't recognize that quite so quickly, but I am following him, trying to keep up with him. And I think I right click there. Yeah, I right clicked him to draw the creep aggro and then I berserkers called so that he would, I'd be able to call him and the creeps. And then I call him into Sunstrike. And I think I'm tanky enough to tank the tower here and the creeps and him. Um, I've got Trank Boots with a bunch of armor and Stout Shield and everything, and I had one charges, so I figured I'd be fine. 
um, and getting a kill on their safe laner as an off laner is just massive. Like it's such a um, easy way to win the game if you can play off lane and dominate. And then he tries to see, decides to TP in here, which I think is pretty silly. So I just run in and go for a call. I've got Trank boots, so even if I um, don't kill him, which isn't the goal, I can do a lot of damage to him, get him low. And um, he's just TP'd back to lane, and he oh, he did buy some st tangos. But often, players won't buy more regen when they come back to lane like that. And if you get them right as they TP in and get them uh, um, do a bunch of damage to them, then they're stuffed. They've just TP'd in, they have to run back to base again, or they're um, potentially going to get killed. Now, I think here, and I'm still too middle, but the lion's not been on the map again for a little while. I think soon I kind of back off from memory. Oh no, Potom comes back, so I'm I'm happy. We don't have a lot of vision, which is kind of annoying. But having a ward in this bit would be really useful for us because we could see the lion rotating. The, obviously, that mistake I made with getting my starting ward dewarded was quite bad. Um, so I need to be quicker getting out of base and I think take a pathway which doesn't get me seen quite so much. Um, I picked up Ring of Health here because I'm sitting in lane a lot and that means my Tranquil Boots and I'm free farming so my Tranquil Boots aren't going to be activated and actually regening me so having Ring of Health which has now been buffed to 6 HP regen is just helps keep me topped off in lane and always ready to fight and I'm going to build into an early vanguard. Sometimes you can go a fast like rushed blink on Axe and I think that's fine but when I'm getting free farm like this I actually prefer to go for a, um, for a vanguard first because you can sort of get your blink at a similar timing as you would in a normal offlane situation but you've also got a vanguard and vanguard actually helps speed up your farm um, and obviously just makes you a lot less likely to die when you start using your blink uh, here i do a little trick which you can do on axe which is quite useful to know about so these creeps are already fighting each other and i want them to fight me so i can spin them and kill them quicker so the, P the pa wasn't in lane so i look top and i just a clicked i think or right clicked on the slider and then i stopped my movement and that draws the aggro of these creeps so you don't have to do it on someone that's near you can do it on someone anywhere on the map and it's really important to know on axe like most heroes it's not that important but um, very useful tip for axe now here i'm just trying to back lane pressure this tower I think here we stuff up a little bit or i do so he blinked past me and i should have really seen that coming um and then I tried, to, I cancelled my call because I wanted to just attack him a little bit and then call him as he landed. Because you don't want to stack your stuns, right? Because the Rubik had lifted him, wait for the full duration. If I called early, I'd waste the stun duration that of Rubik. Um, no, then I get, that's right, I get clouded, but I still get the ulti off on him. But now this is on cooldown, so I can't really keep fighting this um, Ricky. He can just bail. <clears throat> and now I pick up my Vanguard at 8 minutes. If you got Tranks in a Vanguard at 8 minutes on Axe, 1300 HP and like he, 6 armor, damage block, bunch of regen, 25 regen with Tranks activated, super hard to kill, really difficult to deal with. So he's TP'd in here, there's no one on the map, so I'm feeling pretty nervous. My Potom isn't with me, so I'm just backing right up to the tower for now, kind of sitting around back here. Um, and I think I actually tell the Potom to back up here as well. We saw the lion and this guy just TP'd in, so I'm like, hell no, it's get the hell out of here time. I'm telling him, I'm like, yelling at him to get out, and he's placed this sentry ward, and I'm yelling, I can't help you, because I don't have blink, right? If I had blink, maybe I could go in and help him, but I'd also probably die. Um, but I'm just telling him to get out, telling him to get out, and I don't want to fight here, even though they're diving, because what happens is, they've rotated all these heroes bottom, one, two, three, four, five. And that's because of the damage that I've done in this game. I'm crushing this PA. He's calling for help, calling for ganks, I'm assuming. Um, dominating this lane and getting good free farm. And that's made all the space for the rest of my team. And, and like I said, the reason I didn't want to fight is because this happens. I'm telling my team to push the towers. So we got a mid tower and we get a top tower. I don't actually know we don't get that one, but we're getting damage off, right? Like we're creating space for my other lanes to farm and push and take towers. So there's no need for me to take that fight. Um, because at just gambling the risk that I die there would be so huge. And you got to remember, when you're doing well in a game, you're, I'm not as high as our invoker is, they lead net worth, I think he has a Midas, yeah, like he's pretty hard to keep up with a mid laner with Midas. Um, but I'm the second highest net worth in the game, right? So my, uh, wow, I'm higher than Jug, that's pretty bad. I'm not sure who he was laning against, Slardar, I guess. No, oh, Slardar must have done well in his lane. Um, here I dive him under the tower, I'm calling to the bottom saying that I think I can go. 
was my point I was making before? When you're the higher net worth in your team, you don't want to be, you want to be minimizing your deaths because my death at the moment is worth a lot. If I die to their PA or their Zeus or something, that's really bad for our team. So I've got to be really uh, cautious with my life. And the longer I can sort of wait before I die, the more we can snowball our early game lead. I mean, obviously, not obviously, but I'm likely to die at some point eventually, right? But, and I think it's actually soon. <laughs> but um, the longer you can delay that, the better. So here, there, the Zeus is here, the Lion's here. I don't know if I was looking at the map very well. I knew the Ricky's bottom. I kind of try to sneak in here, hoping he'll stay for this last hit, and I can kind of run into here and get a call off on him. And I can pop my Mango, but he just didn't quite get into range of my call, because call range is fucking tiny as hell. So now I just push this lane. The Lion and the Zeus both left here, and I probably should have realized that and got the hell out. And I think I do, yeah. So it's just another map awareness thing. I noticed no one's on the map. There were a couple of heroes around there. So I'm circling on my map. I'm saying I think they're down here. Um, let's see what they were actually doing. Oops. No, they're all sitting behind mid lane smoked. And the PA has turned up as well. So like they could have done a little bit of damage with two. But I mean, there's just no way to know where these guys are. They're smoked running around on the map, right? They could very well be bottom, so I don't think it's a mistake to back here. Top tower and also me top. being off the map is scary for them as well. So they don't know where I am. They go mid here, and I think I'm just greedy and farm this camp, which is stupid. Actually, I start running, but the damage is already kind of done. I don't have a blink. I could have TP'd straight away, probably. Let's see how the fight goes. I'm, it's one of the things I'm bad at, is if I'm like really close to finishing a camp, I'm so sure some of you can sympathize. Oh wow, he was just like AFK standing there. There was already a TP. I could have TP'd here, but who knows. They got a Rubik that TP's in. And a Potom and the Rubik's flanking. Probably could have got a counter kill. He cancelled his TP as well. So like he sort of saw the same thing I did, which was that that fight was mostly over and the heroes were out. So if he TP'd there, he wouldn't have been able to do much. And that's what I kind of figured as well. Um, if I that, So this would've, that would have been an advantage where a Blink would have been good. But on the downside is if I TP'd there, Blinked in, and then just got killed by Zeus um, and Lion, right? Then my Blink's pretty shit. <clears throat> so that's another good thing about Axe in this meta as well, is with the change to the hard camp, there's an extra camp, um, extra centaur for you to spin off at the hard camp, so you can farm the big camps quicker, and also he can do very well. I probably should have stacked this camp a little bit more, or got the bottom two, because I was dominating the lane so hard, but if you're behind a little bit in the lane, if you're getting bullied out, you can always just go back and farm this camp, or stack, stack it and farm it later, um, with, you know, Berserker's Call so you don't take as much damage, and then farm up that lane. So now I'm just saving for my blink, and I'm in this little bit of a dilemma here, because they have a Zeus and a Lion and the Slider Crush, which all do a lot of magic damage, and I'm looking at getting this um, infused raindrop item, I'm sort of hovering over it, seeing how much it costs, and reading it again, because this is, like I think, my second game on this patch, or fourth game or something, and this is a really good situation to buy it on Axe, I think, because he has a lot of armor with Berserker's Call, a lot of damage block, but what he's vulnerable to is, is magic damage at this point. And the only thing he used to be able to do, really, is buy a casual cloak or a, a full hood. Um, but now you can buy this raindrop and it's sick. But I was so close to Blink that I figured I could hopefully just save, uh, farm for a little bit longer, pick up my Blink and then grab it, which turns out to be the wrong decision, I think. And now I chased if I here. So once he died, we should have just got out. These guys are high. I but I figured I had Mango and Call, but I'm just never gonna catch them there. I don't think I maybe I didn't know Rubik had already used lift or something, but I'm just playing I'm so confident at the moment because I'm so far ahead, but this is yeah, this is just silly of me. The invoker is rotating and I'm hoping to catch him out, and I'm sort of trying to juke him, like counter juke him around these trees. And I do get a call off here, I think. Nah, I miss. No, I cancel it, because I realize I'm going to miss. I get the Zeus. I'm hoping this fucking Invoker will Sunstrike or something. He has it. Why didn't he use it on my Berserker's Call? It's annoying. If he did, we would have killed the Zeus. Anyway, I die. So look at my kill. Like, I give up PA. I get 740 gold just for ending my streak. Um, so that's what I was trying to avoid earlier as I was talking about it. Um, but we get bottom tower to make the damage I did actually force them back in the end so then I died so I figured I'd just pick up my raindrop because I was back in base and 
Um, then I was a bit further away from getting Blink as well, because we died. But we've since picked up the tower, and as you see, I haven't even had to use my Mango, so I think it's good for the regen, and maybe if you end up using Berserker's Call if they're in lane, um, or if you want to go early points in Battle Hunger and sort of use these a bit more, you might need it, but surprisingly I didn't even need need it this game. I guess because my lane was dominated reasonably well, just... Um, I'm looking for a kill here because I've just picked up Blink and they don't know about it, but what I should have done is run down to here and then Blink on him here. Because once he, when he daggers, he reveals, but I'm too far away because as soon as he daggers, he bails. And I'm, ho I'm hoping my reactions will be quick enough to just Blink and call him, but he's sort of doing it out of range. If I did that early, I could have got him there as well. I just sort of being shit, hesitating. But anyway, we find him here and kill him. And Sunstrike's annoying because Sunstrike always takes my kills before I can Kelling Blade them. <laughs> Sorry for blowing in the microphone. I tried to blink call there to save the Rubik from dying. And this is kind of an awkward fight because the Zeus is behind us, like flanking us. And if this guy dies and the Zeus is behind us, we're in a really bad flank. Um, but he's killing him. I get the call off. I figured I wasn't going to be able to kill him just with the sort of auto attacks and ulti. Here, I'm in a lot of trouble. Everyone's dead, so I just go for a blink out and get away. Slider looks it to dive me here a little bit, but I'm perfectly fine. If he wants to dive me here, I can kill him. If he gets under tower and I uh, <clears throat> Berserkers call him, I've got my raindrop so his crush won't do, and his crush does physical damage so that will damage me. But I've got 17 one charges and Berserkers call and Culling Blades so I think I'll be fine if he wants to dive. So now I'm actually hanging around looking for a fight, trying to keep out of vision because I'm hoping someone's going to come farm this land. If I just ran straight up here and started farming this, then they'd probably bail. But the Zeus does. He falls for my wee trap. I'm hugging the tree line, hugging the tree line so he doesn't see me. Blink and call. And get all the creep aggro. Spin, spin, dunk. So that's, I guess, another important concept on Axe is to try to let people come to the lane. It's important on a lot of heroes, but if you can catch a hero farming creeps um, with your blink, then that's the easiest way to get kills. Um, if you're in the lane and then you see, that, like if you're farming here and they're sitting back here farming by themselves or like you blink on a single hero, it's obviously much less uh, damage because you're not getting the extra chances to proc your spin from creeps. So now I'm going for blade mail. I don't know where the, the build will evolve to just, or the build should be, just blade mail first because it's so good right now. But um, obviously Vanguard is better early in the game and blade mail scales well because blade mail will scale with how much damage they do so the more damage they do the more you can return if you have more health and armor reductions and more ability to live that's more damage you can return and as they level up and start doing more damage they're going to get more back but i mean early in the game they have less health and less re uh, reductions and stuff as well less armor and everything so um there is an argument to be made for going blade mail first um i I'm just trying out this build, and I think I, I think I prefer it. We'll see. Again, like I say, I've only played two games with Axe on this patch, but I figured I probably know a fair bit more about Axe than a lot of others, so I'd um, get this video out there early for you guys so you can start with the Spin Brother and getting some games in before everyone starts banning him. I go for that call, but I missed the slaughter, which is annoying, but I'm not too worried about it. It's a free kill online. So I'm just playing Invincible Man here, the Ricky's Rage quit. I've still got my Raindrop, 17 charges, I'm huge. Um, there's not a lot they can really do to me when I pop my 40 armor buff. Um, I think I go for a kill there on the Ricky and I get him. So he, I TP in, he starts running, drops his cloud, but that doesn't cancel my blink. So I can blink, I just go for a blind call. I said it a little bit sloppily, but I figured he was running down here from the path he was taking. And yeah, the potter missed his free arrow and he was apologizing a whole lot in, um, in voice chat. <laughs> he was a good guy, but it was just unfortunate that he missed the arrow. Um, so I pick up my blade mail, sit it on the courier. I should, don't know if I grabbed a TP, but I should have done. Um, this potter ends up actually getting in a bit of trouble with the rookie. Um, I marked with the courier, obviously, so it didn't die to the rookie and now I go for a blind blink. I'm sort of trying to trace where he'd be and I figured he might have been coming down to look for me over here. I don't know where he actually was. Oh, he went that way. Nope. Oh, he did like a left juke and then came back down. So. Um, 
the slider was coming up looking for me as well, and the lion was coming, so I just got the hell out of there. But now I'm looking around for this kill. Uh, he grabbed the rune, I wonder who took that, because I got there not much later and it was already gone. I was, the reason I blinked there is because I was hoping someone would actually be picking up the rune. I'm playing really aggressively at the moment, because I'm, again, maybe making the mistake I made down here about feeling invincible, but... Um, I was hoping someone might be picking up the rune, I could get a call off. Um, but once you've got these basic items up, especially when you've got Vanguard Blade Mail as well, full charges, raindrop, pretty, a pretty difficult hero to deal with. And don't be afraid to use it, Call's got a really short cooldown. Um, don't be afraid to use uh, use it just for single pickoffs like that. That line was out of position. If you get a pick off on him, it makes these fights a lot easier that are going to be upcoming. And now my call's up again. And my team has mana boots, so that helps me out even more. I think I saw the um, PA farming lane. Remember, he doesn't show up on minimap, but I saw him just there briefly, and I figured he might be here. So I went for a blink call, but I couldn't see him anywhere on here. So I figured he might have gone down here. This is, a, I think, a new juke spot that I hadn't actually been in before. I hadn't gone. I normally I go into the test client and test out like the new changes on the map. But I, and I, he fogged me a couple of times when I was trying to battle hunger him there. Because I didn't have call up, but I um, whiffed my battle hunger because he kept juking me. Which was unfortunate. I probably should have just held position in the trees so that my team could get there. Um, <clears throat> but my battle hunger is actually doing a fair bit of damage. And remember you can cancel your call, right? So like I, a few times this game I've blinked and then gone to call, realized that I wasn't going to hit it, and then cancelled it. So if I hadn't have done that here... If I hadn't have cancelled my call, because I knew I was missing. So to cancel it, obviously, you just push S, right? So you click your Q, and then if you know you're not going to hit it, just tap S or spam S. Um, if I hadn't have done that, I wouldn't have had Berserker's call up here when they dive me to do this. So now I've popped my massive armor buff, called both the heroes, and they're going to die. And this shit keeps happening, and I keep missing out on my freaking dunk kills, which is annoying. I popped my uh, wand early, because I don't want to get nuked down by Zeus or something before I can react. Blink in, go for the PA. And also if you use your wand, you can start gathering new charges again. I think I actually made a mistake and didn't activate my blade mail. No, I just it was on cooldown. So I used it a little bit slow. But I was looking I always think I was trying to prepare for my dunk rather than looking at the cooldown of my blade mail. So we're pretty far ahead this game. We go for Roche now. This game is mostly over at this point. Um, not sure how much is left of it. But we'll go through it quickly and just sort of go over how to shut out shut out the game. Um, picking up Roshan, clearing out camps. Um, I think I go for a blink call here. I'm in Viz, so I don't. Oh, I see them. I probably could have blinked before he hit me with dagger there, but I'm trying to get the battle hunger off on Slardark. Yeah, I missed it because. Because he's got blink, if I get battle hunger off on him in a team fight like that, I just get a free dunk on Zeus, then I um he can't blink. So and he can't blink until he kills a hit, kills somebody, so it's pretty massive. Um, if I can get that off. And it's our only real dot that we have, like unless you have an urn or something. Um just battle hunger that I'm trying to get on him. Um, I'm not sure whether it's worth maxing battle hunger because it doesn't actually it decreases the cooldown heaps, so that maybe makes it worthwhile. But going stats is also a really good idea. Um, just makes you tankier. More armor, more strength. More of a mana pool as well. Um, and it doesn't change the damage or the slow or the duration. So the only thing that's changing is the cooldown and the, the damage. And the damage is pretty irrelevant. That's not how you're killing people as Axe. Um, you're not killing them with battle hunger damage generally. Um, but it might be worth maxing just to get the, uh, the cooldown reduced. I'm not sure. Maybe it depends on personal preference or on the game. But I'm mostly just using it to cancel Slider Blink this game. And I get out there pretty quick after we kill the tower. Because our Rubik's bottom and our invoker's in base. I don't really want to be fighting here. But pushing in all the lanes. I think I'm getting a bit sort of overconfident here because my team isn't all here. We're telling the invoker to come to the lane because I think we've got... I'm um, Yeah, we've got... Aegis on our jug, and I'm trying to tell him just to go hit the tower, because he's been a wuss with his Aegis, and um, not sieging like you're meant to. You're meant to just go stand up here, drop your healing ward, start punching the racks, um, punching the tower. Um, and if they blow their spells to kill you, 
or over commit to kill you by blinking in and stuff, then you can counter kill them. Um, so this is all good. We got some damage off on the tower. He's popped healing ward. Um, he's not using his manta to get rid of um, slider ulti. I'm pretty sure it gets rid of slider ulti. You can purge it off with defusal, so I assume it works with manta. Um, yeah, must do. Um, so they're committing here. We could, I could have blink called there, but the thing is, if I die, it's really bad. If I blink under a tower, Radiant call and get a bunch of damage and get like Zeus ultied and Lion ultied and stuff and I die rather than the Jug dying with Aegis, then it's a really bad situation for us. So. I see him here, I'm trying to get Battle Hunger off on him, I do. So now he can't blink initiate, so I'm pretty safe to go on this PA here, do a bit of damage. It causes some distraction, but I'm also safe because the slide I can't blink stun me. And that allows a bit of space for our team to sort of do some damage to this mid tower here. So my camera position, I'm trying to have me right up in the corner and have uh, all of them <coughs> on my camera. Um, I get a good call off here on three. Um, pop my blade mail, pop my crimson guard, pop my hood. Don't remember that hood has an active now as well. Um, dunk, dunk, dunk. Ah, oh, I'm not fast enough. My turn rate was too slow to get all the kills. But remember, you can spam dunk if you um, get kills with it. If you're dunk. When I say dunk, I'm meaning it's killing blade. If you um, get a kill, it's instantly off cooldown again. So it basically works as fast as you can click it. You don't actually even have to go through the full animation. So you can just be pushing R click, R click, R click, R click, and you can just dunk a whole team. But you do obviously have to turn. This is a really nice Meteor by Invoker. I guess it was on a free target of called heroes. But See all these dunks I'm missing out on? It's just it's a sad, sad life. But it's an easy game. Um, and that's pretty much it. I think we just back up, farm a little, piss around, win the game. Um, other items, I guess you could go on X. I went pipe, that's right, um, after hood. Pipe isn't necessarily a pickup every game, but I think against a Zeus, if you're playing X and you don't have a pipe builder on your team, I think that's pretty silly not to go it. Because um, it's a pretty natural Radiance build, a uh, pretty attack. natural item to build on Axe. Um, obviously, Vanguard you can build into. Um, my shop won't open. Uh, you can build Vanguard into Abyssal now, but I'm still not convinced that that's like a great item on Axe. I think Crimson Guard's probably better, um, unless you need a disable, <clears throat> an instant disable for uh, a very escapable hero that you're not going to be able to kill within your call cooldown. I guess that would be the scenario, but um, other item wise after that you could look at things like AC or uh, heart or I don't know if there's any other new items that you'd pick up on it. No, not really. But anyway, hope you guys learned something, have fun playing X, and I'm going to upload this now and I might be on streaming if you want to come check out some uh, some Dota gameplay from me on stream. Cheers guys, thanks for watching.